what we're going to discuss today is Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a progressive decline of the nervous system that impacts our muscles and our movement of our body. Now, an individual who has a Parkinson's disease, about 89% don't know that they're actually having difficulty communicating, where they think that they might be shouting or they're speaking really loudly. As the listener, we are hearing something completely different. Hey there. Before we get into today's video content, I want to go ahead and remind you to subscribe to our channel, Better Speech. And after you watch the video, if you found it helpful, go ahead and click that like button comment down below, and don't forget to share with your family and friends. Also, visit us at betterspeech.com for more information. Now, over to the video. Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Lenore Edwards, and I'm a board-certified speech-language pathologist with Better Speech. Let's get started on today's information. So what we're going to discuss today is Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a progressive decline of the nervous system that actually impacts our movement and our muscles of the body. This can happen when the brain cells stop producing a very specific chemical or neurotransmitter known as dopamine. Now, dopamine is really important because it's responsible for our coordination of our movement, and it's also responsible for our feelings of feeling motivated and rewarded. Now, an individual who has a Parkinson's disease, about 89% don't know that they're actually having difficulty communicating, where they think that they might be shouting or they're speaking really loudly. As the listener, we are hearing something completely different. As we said, it changes the muscle movement. What that actually can impact is their ability to actually have that breath support to effectively communicate. It can actually change their vocal quality. So an individual might be more hoarse or might be more breathy, and it may actually impact their articulators, the range of movement, so that when they think they're opening their mouth or when we are actually communicating with our movement of our mouth, their movement is much smaller. It's much tighter. You as the listener might be asking them, I'm sorry, say that again, I can't hear you. And then as the speaker can become more frustrated because they feel like they're repeating themselves a lot and they also feel like they're shouting. So it's really important to be aware of these characteristics, but it's also really important to receive treatment early on. So for individuals who are experiencing difficulty communicating, it's really important to receive speech therapy services early on. The two programs, LSVT Loud, the Lee Silverman Voice Treatment Loud and Speak Out are both incredibly well researched. As a speech language pathologist, I am able to then go out and be certified in these programs or in these techniques and tools that I can then offer my clients. What's really wonderful is that for LSVT Loud, this one's a bit more structured, is in addition to offering four sessions at 60 minutes a week, we teach our clients to be loud and to communicate with projection. There are also homework assignments. With Speak Out, what's really wonderful is that this has a little bit more flexibility, offering three sessions at 45 minutes a week for a total of 12 sessions. This one focuses on the intention of communicating. Both are offering you homework assignments to practice outside, which is really fantastic because what we want to do is we want to give you as much knowledge, as much information, and to help you in every way that we can. But then you get to also take those techniques, those tools, those things that you learn and implement them in your everyday life. So that way you can then be more functional in your communication. So that way you can enjoy communicating with those around you. And when you go to work with a board certified speech language pathologist, whether that be a better speech or an individual out in the community, what's important to understand is that we tailor our treatment plans to fit your needs. What's important to you about your communication and what's important to you about communicating with those around you. Whether you're having difficulty with that breath support, we may recommend breathing exercises. We may recommend changing your breathing pattern altogether, and we will give you those tools and techniques to do so. Whether you're having difficulty actually getting those vocal cords to come together completely and consistently, 
We may recommend vocal exercises and different techniques to try to help improve that vocal quality. If you're having difficulty moving those articulators with that coordination and that strength and range of movement, we may recommend oral motor exercises. We may recommend some of these. We may recommend a variety of these because what is ultimately important is how you communicate with your family and friends and those around you so that you can better yourself and better your communication everywhere you go, anytime you need. In addition to that, there are also programs outside of that formal training so that you get to be a part of a community where there are other people who are experiencing the similar things that you're experiencing as you are a part of this now Parkinson's family. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, if you have questions and would like to speak with a speech language pathologist, please reach out to us at Better Speech where we offer you a free consultation. We will do our very best to answer your questions and offer you more guidance from there. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.